So most often you'll find private companies already have employed multi-factor authentication and other methodologies continue to protect their services and their patrons. Uh, higher education has been kind of been behind the curve in adopting some of these newer technologies because our philosophy is sharing knowledge equally and widely. And uh, unfortunately, that, that, that part of our mission has been taken advantage of by nefarious characters saying, okay, universities are least protected environments and we should be able to do a lot of things that we would like to do, including you know, accessing people's bank accounts or stealing intellectual property and things like that. So we in higher education, because we are slow to adopt to some of these modern technologies to help us protect better and to continue to educate our workforce and students and faculty in terms of better and safer computing habits, uh, we have become sort of a, a soft target uh, for these criminals. So it's just like people don't go rob a house when it's locked. Uh, they usually try to find a home that is unlocked because it's much easier for them to get in and do damage. So that's the same philosophy here. But over the years, we in the higher education community has stepped up the game. So we are getting better and better every year. And that's what's happened at WSU. If you look at four to five years ago and where we are now, we continue to push the envelope in terms of providing secure computing capabilities to our faculty, staff, and students.